Hey guys, this is your friend in programming code Ajit. And in this video, I will talk about how to package and distribute your Electron application to the final user, the buyers. And with Electron, it's a little bit different from the usual process that you might be doing if you're using on any other platform that compiles your application because Electron applications are actually pre-compiled. That is to say, the Electron binary is pre-compiled and you can create Electron application distributions in two methods, two ways. First, you can use the pre-compiled binary and just distribute your own application files, which will be HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files alongside in a way that Electron can identify them and use them. And the second is to package and compile the Electron binary for your own project. And that gives you a little bit more of control, uh, like you can have a custom icon and you can have more control over the binary that's being built. And it's uh, another step in the flow, but it's not difficult and there are specialized tools which make it easy. So I'm gonna actually show you both the ways. First, I'm gonna show you how to distribute Electron applications with pre-built binaries. That is, your Electron app, your, the executable is pre-built and you're only you know, creating the distribution files, your application files to create a setup that you can give to the user and the user can then install on their computer. So let's get started with this. Okay, so here I am in an application that I'm creating and this is the app that I want to distribute. But here again, you are faced with two choices. The first is distribute unpackaged files with your application. And the second is distribute packaged files or an ASR package along with your app. So when you're gonna go the unpackaged route, what you will do is you will put up all these files, all these files that are required to run your project in a subfolder in an electron directory with the binary. And the binary, when it runs, it's gonna look for that subfolder, it's gonna look for your files and will run those files. That's number one route when you're going unpackaged. But if you want to distribute a packaged you know, a file, one single zip or one single package that has all your source code, you can package it in an ASR file. It's a special packager and you will need to do it from inside your node. So I will show you exactly how to do it in a bit. And that ASR file you will need to distribute with your app, the Electron binary. When the binary runs, it's gonna look for your data in the ASR package and it will run the app as normal. The benefit of going the package route is firstly, your source code is not just openly available to the people who are who you are shipping the product to. It's a bit of protection. Of course, ASR can be unpackaged. It's not a foolproof method or encrypted package system. But what's gonna happen is there will be some level of protection and you'll be protected from people who mess up the folder a little bit and cause problems. So I would say it's a good idea to package up your files if you're gonna distribute them, especially to end users and you want to distribute a package app or something. And I will show you both the methods. First, we will create an unpackaged setup, unpackaged distribution, and then we will create a package distribution. So the first thing you need to do is download the binaries for your platform. You will need to get the binary files, electron compiled files that you can distribute with your app. And to do that, you go to github.com slash electron slash electron slash releases. And don't worry, this link will be in the description. So you can just look at the description and find this link. No need to remember it. Now you will see that we do have a huge pile of binaries, right? You can see it's a huge list, isn't it? Now, luckily you don't have to download everything. What you need to download is exactly the files that you want to use for your platform. So if you want to ship for Mac, you will need to download the Mac files. If you want to ship for uh, Windows, you will need to download the Windows files. You need to navigate these files a little bit. What you're looking for is specifically the Electron binary. So I will show you the binary for each platform. Uh, over here, this, these are the binaries for Mac, ARM64 platform, and there are actually a bunch of compiled files. You don't need every one of them. What you need is the Electron binary, it's right over here. This is the binary for uh, Mac, Darwin X64, 64-bit Mac. Electron version 6.4, that's the current version as I was making the video. 
So if you want to ship for Mac, you need to download this. I have a PC today, so I'm going to show you how to do this on a PC, but it's will the process will not be very difficult for a Mac, and I will try to explain as I will as I go. For Linux, if you got a 32-bit platform, IA32, this is the processor name. And if you're unsure about what you want to target, it's better to check, make sure you're targeting for the correct processor. This is the Linux x64 binary, and this is the Windows. These are the Windows binaries now. ARM64 and x64 is, of course, Intel processor. This is the binary for Win32 x64. And I can just click on it to download it. All right, so I have downloaded the binary and it was a zip file. I extracted the zip file into a folder. And when you go into that folder, you will find all these different files. And here is the electron executable. This is the file you need to run to run electron and your app, hopefully. When you double click on it right now, what you see is just the standard electron app. There is nothing to see here. Your app is not even here. So now let's place our app where electron can find it and have it run our app there. So that's very easy. This is my app folder and all my code is here. What I want to do is I want to open this in Windows Explorer. So you can just click on a file and click on reveal in file explorer. And you've got all these files here. I'm going to copy them and then I'm going to go back to my electron distribution. It's right here. Then I'll go into my resources folder and I will create an, a folder called app. And I want to delete my default app SR because we won't be using that. And then I will just copy my all of my source code right over here. Node modules, everything goes right over here. And this can be massive. Even if you made a little app, not a big app, the electron binary will have to package everything. You will have to package everything because the node modules and everything that you're using in the app, they will all need to go here. And that can take a little while. So we have actually 300 MB, so we'll wait. Okay, so it's copied over. It was quite a huge list of files, a lot of fol folders in there. Now let's go back to the root directory of our project and click on electron boom you get a big error and this can happen because here's what happened in this instance i got the latest binaries of electron from the website but one of the libraries in my project it's better sqlite it's a library to connect to sqlite files it was compiled against node module version 98 so the current version of node module version that this that this uh, packager needs, that this electron need is 99. And that means it will not run. So what do we do? All right, so let's close this. One of the things you can do is use the same binaries that you are using in your Visual Studio code in the node ecosystem that you've built the entire project in. And to do that, we need to find the electron version that we're using. So you can go back to your Visual Studio code and type electron space slash space dash dash v and this will give you the electron version. It's 15.3.0. So when you went to download the binary instead of downloading the latest version which was 16, you want to download the 15th version which should do. So if you scroll down you will find the binaries for the electron 15 version 2. This is 15.3.4 but it should work for us perfectly because the major version is the same. So again, we're going to do the same thing. We'll go into assets and you will find electron that you want to download the correct version, the correct type of electron that you want to download for your platform. Click on it again and let it download. So I've got my electron installation here. I have it expanded. I have extracted all the files and inside of resources slash app, I have all the files of the project. So now let's see what happens when we run it. All right, this time we got another error, cannot open database because the directory does not exist. So here is the thing, uh, Electron's documentation says that the application should be installed in resources slash app, but in actual case, the only thing you need to have here is package.json and all the other files you should put in the root directory where the application was installed, where the Electron executable is there. And now when you run it, 
the application will still not run because now you need to specify the path of the main.js file in package.js. So let's do that now. Let's go to resources app and open the package.json and we need to specify the correct relative path to uh, the main.js. Let's do that. It's just two folders up. So this should do the trick. Let's try again now. And all right, so our app has loaded and now it's ready for distribution. I'm not going to show you how to running the app. It's quite visible that it's working. So I'm going to close it now. And you can't, you know, ideally you can, you can actually distribute this entire application as a folder. You can zip it up and give it to your customers. But honestly, this is not the way to distribute an app. So you need to create a setup. You need to create a package that people can install. And my preferred way of doing this is using a yeah, utility called Inno Setup. And I'm going to show you the how to use the how to use Inno Setup to make a setup out of this. Inno Setup is a freeware and you can download it from jrsoftware.org. Actually, just Google it, find it, go to the download page, download Inno Setup, and download the version that's suitable for you. I distribute on Windows, so I usually write the Windows version. I use the Windows version. And you might need to make a separate installer for each each platform. I cannot go in every platform in this video, but this is on Windows. So I'm going to show you how to do it on Windows. So it's going to just download very fast. Here I have Inno Setup install. This is version 6. And usually I work with a ready-made script that I have. I can just quickly modify the scripts that I'm using. But for this purpose, I'm going to guide you through the Inno Setup script setup wizard. So uh, when you click on new file new, you will, you will see this wizard. Just click on file and new. You'll see it then create a new empty script file or just proceed with it you can call, you can give your application a name i'll just go with the, go with the default settings right now and where do you want to install the app give it a folder name where you want to install it and click next again and then you need to specify the main executable so this is how you do it click on browse and i've already copied the folder name select it the executable is electron exe open it and in add folders, click on add folders and add the folder where you have like you have uh, put up the entire setup. So I'm going to do that now. It won't take too long. Here we have. This is the setup. Actually, this is the files and include other subfolders and you're ready to go. Just click on next. You can give it again any, any name you want. Click next again a couple of times. If you want to specify a license file, do that. If you want to show any information or text file before or after installation, do that but not this time and here we go we can choose where you want to uh, output the folder output the data i'm just going to put it on desktop for this time make a new folder electron test and click ok you want to select an icon you want to have a specific icon you can do that uh, if you want to create a password for your setup that's possible and just click next and finish and you have this uh, nice script here it's actually quite easy to read you can read it and you can make sense of it this is all modifiable so you know whatever you do in the script wizard it's not important that you stick with it you can change anything you want like if i want to change the name the version publisher name whatever you want you can do that here are here is here are some more details about the application you can change any data here this is uh, all very easy to read and modify and there is a lot of help available too here is the file names available that this is the icon you can modify it this is the folder that you're using to distribute and to compile just click on the compile button over here and okay this is the compile button click on it and compile it it's gonna take a couple of minutes to compile so uh, let's save this first i think we need to save it first so in this we can put it over here my setup and save and then hit compile again so this is compiling already all right, so the setup is done. All the files are packaged and it's a whopping 1.6159 MBs. And that's very common with Electron apps because a lot of it is Chrome driver, the Chrome, uh, you know, uh, browser. Then there is the entire node system package there. So, of course, your setup is going to be big. This is 159 MBs, and uh, but this is redistributable. And if you run it, it can... Uh, properly install the electron app it's gonna do the here we are this this is the setup it's gonna create the icon and everything so this is a great way to package your electron apps
So this was the manual method of packaging Electron apps. But there is also another method with tooling. So let's have a look at that. Let's know a little bit about it. The first is Electron Forge. And actually this is Electron Scaffolding. It's not a method to uh, package Electron apps. It's just a method or a quick system to get started with creating an Electron uh, application. So if you click on it and you look at it, it's actually scaffoldings using which you can create a new uh, Electron app and have some tooling ready-made done for you. So this is not exactly a packager, but we have two other options, Electron Builder and Electron Packager, which can actually be used to create the binaries and to redistribute your Electron app. So I'm going to show you very quickly how to use these two. Let's try using the Electron Builder first. So the first thing we need to do is install Electron Build as a dev dependency and we can do this using Yarn. Yarn is an uh, alternative to NPM. Many people prefer it to NPM. It used to be faster than NPM earlier, but now NPM's new version is pretty much as fast as Yarn. It doesn't really matter, but this is what it says in the documentation. So I'm just using the same thing so that it makes sense to you. If you don't, if you use the documentation, you're not confused. So we're going to add it as a dev dependency, which means it will not be packaged. It will not be uh, distributed to your customers and click on enter. It's installed. Might take a couple of uh, minute or a minute or so. All right, so Electron Builder is now installed. Now we gotta add a build script, a build section to our package.js. So package.js is already open for me. If it's not open, you can open it. And we'll specify a build section here. Pretty easy, just a standard JSON variable, just a standard JSON area. And we're gonna have a app ID value. So you can call it whatever you want. For example, my app, and that should be it. Next, you need to specify your build script. So in here, in the script section of the packet or JSON, we need to give a Electron Builder some clue about what to do. So we'll use a dist, uh, you know, uh, build script, and we will just write Electron Builder because with that, we want to execute Electron Builder with this script. And now whenever you want to package your Electron app, you can just write npm run dist. And okay, it's failed because, uh, all right, we have to put Electron Builder here. I put Electron Build and that's why it failed. So run it again. And remember to save your data before you run it, of course. And now the the setup is being made. It could again take a couple of minutes depending on your size, the file size and all. So just reveal in Windows Explorer and you can see it will create a dist folder actually on your drive where it will put all the distribution files. So here it's doing it now. It's actually still working. So it's going to take a little while before it's completed. Still working, new folders, new files coming in. You can see the unpacked files over here. The file name has been renamed logibrowser.exe is created and you can redistribute this folder to your uh, to your to your users again you can make a setup using create a setup using inno setup if you want use the same structure as earlier take the executable this is the executable and package the entire folders so this was how you did your setup with electron build and there is another method electron packager which you can use and I'm going to show you Electron Packager too. And Electron Packager is actually quite easy. What you can do is you can use NPX. NPX is uh, like NPM, but instead of installing the package in your uh, in your software, in your uh, particular project, what it does is it just runs the package and you don't need to install it. So you can just run the command NPX Electron dash packager. It's going to figure out nearly everything from your project setup, from your package.json and it's going to make the setup, it's going to make the executable for the platform that you are using already. So on this computer I'm using Win32 x64 and that's what exactly it's done. It's going to make the package in that particular platform too and you can again see the installation that's been done. You can see the package that's been done. It's over here. Here is our executable and again the same thing like earlier installations you can just copy the file over uh, to your uh, and against 
and again same like our earlier solutions whatever packaging we did in the earlier methods and again same just like earlier installations you can create a setup for this and redistribute and again same just like our earlier installations you can create a setup using inno setup and redistribute it to your customers very easily uh, now to sum it all up i would definitely recommend that you try to use the manual distribution first and it's actually the best method because it simply eliminates the chances of any kind of issues with your code the file size may be a bit bigger but it makes it quite simple and uh, it's a no-brainer process you just copy over the folders and that's it and it makes it very simple for you to redistribute you will of course need a packaging software like inno setup to make the setup but inno setup is free and it's easy to use so go ahead and use it thank you for watching this video it was a pretty large one i hope you enjoyed it and if you did find value from it do remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'll be coming to you with more videos on creating amazing applications amazing websites over a large number of technologies this is your best friend in programming kodajit signing off